You are about to learn a stoic exercise that you've probably never heard of. This is kind of a secret underground stoic exercise that not many people talk about, but Marcus Aurelius used it, other famous celebrities use it, and I find myself using it more and more and more every single day. Now, before I get into that, let me tell you a quick story that will link into this topic. So, around a year ago, and actually around a year ago, 360 days ago or something, I started journaling. Every single day I would sit down and I'd write something in my journal. Now, I'm not going to go over what I did in my journal, what things I thought about or what I wrote about at the moment, that's not for this video, that's for a later video. So if you're new around here and you want to see that video, then just make sure you like this video and subscribe if you want to see that video. But like it so that I know or comment if, if, and let me know that you want this video to come out. But anyway, I started journaling around a year ago. And around that same time, I started creating YouTube videos. I started this YouTube channel. And no matter how many times I thought on my YouTube channel side, what videos are gonna, am I going to make? Not once did I ever think of journaling. Now, thinking at that at the moment, that seems crazy to me. I know you guys might be interested in journaling, following in Mark Therese's footsteps, but not once did I make the connection over here from journaling to making new YouTube videos. And now that I've recognized that I could make videos about journaling, that seems crazy to me. How was I so blind that I didn't see journaling as an idea to make videos about? And that's amazing to me. So what you want to be doing, and this is where the stoic concept applies, you want to be seeing the world as clearly as you can. You want to be practicing in your mind objectivity. Now another example of this is I've been going to the gym for around the same time, around 365 days, around a year now. Every single day I go to the gym. Now if you think I'm overtraining, don't worry, I'm listening to my body and I'm young, so I think I'm fine at the moment. But I've been going to the gym every single day for about a year now. I wake up, I go to the gym, and I get on with my day. That is my habit, that is my routine. Now if you don't know much about the gym, let me give you a quick 20 second explanation. For skinny people like me, and you start off skinny, you're going to do two things. You're going to go through a phase of bulking where you eat lots, you put on lots of weight, you put on lots of muscle and you eat lots, you're bulking up the weight. And then once you've done that, you're going to cut down, you're going to lose the excess fat and you're just going to be left with the muscle. That is what people do. They bulk, then they cut, they bulk, then they cut. Now, I'm a skinny guy, so I started off doing what I should be doing of bulking. I started bulking, I started eating loads, and it was difficult, but I ate loads and I ate loads, and I keep doing that, and I started seeing myself putting on weight. But around six months in, I was still a skinny guy, but for some reason, I decided to go on an aggressive cut. I ate maybe a thousand calories, which is not very much at all, and I lost a lot of weight. But because my cut was so aggressive, I found myself losing muscle as well. So I ended up wasting all of that time that I spent going to the gym. Now thinking back, again, I'm asking myself, what was I thinking? Why did I go on this aggressive cut when I was still a slim, skinny, too skinny guy? Why was I doing that? But I just don't know. But for some reason, at the time, I thought that was a good idea. And it all links back to the stoic concept that every single day, you want to be looking at things as objectively as possible. I was naive back then. I was caught up in some weird thinking. And it all ties down to a quote from Mark Cyrillus that I'll read to you right now. Like seeing roasted meat and other dishes in front of you and suddenly realizing this is a dead fish, a dead bird, a dead pig. Perceptions like that latching onto them and piercing through them so we see what they really are. That's what we need to do all the time. So what the stoic exercise is, is constantly seeing things as they really are. Now, I was talking about mental things, but stoicism takes it one step further in looking at physical things. When you look at expensive food, remember that that all came from the ground or came from an animal. When you're thinking about clothes, expensive clothes, you've got to remember that that was probably made in a sweatshop. When you look at rich celebrities that look perfect, you've got to remember that every day they go to the toilet. They're not as happy as they see constantly be looking at things, whether it's objective things or whether it's your perceptions and trying to remove them and seeing things as clearly as objectivity, as, as clearly object, as much as an object as you can, removing your perceptions, removing your opinions as much as possible. And when you do that, you'll start to see things clearly. You'll stop making wrong decisions and your life will just generally start improving. If you like this concept, then make sure you like the video and subscribe if you're new around here because I make these sorts of videos every single day. But after you've watched this video, make sure you watch this video that's about to pop up on screen. Go ahead and watch that video now after you've subscribed and after you've liked this video. I'll see you in that video. Go ahead and click it right now.